was born in Tampico, Tamaulipas, Mexico. I lived with my mom and my dad for two months after I was born, but then my dad came to the United States and so I only lived with my mom. First we lived with my grandparents because she couldn't take care of me on her own. My grandpa was my father figure because I didn't have my dad, so he was the first person that I called dad. My mom said that it was really hard for her to take care of me because uh, she couldn't move around. She didn't have any means of transportation. So whenever I, get, I would get sick, it was really hard for her to take me to the hospital. So my mom just, she was terrified and so was my dad. But he realized that life in the United States was going to be a lot better for us. So he convinced my mom to um, move back here. When I first got here and my dad tried to hold me, I cried because I didn't know who he was. And that really hurt him because he was my father. It was just painful for me to not um, be able to recognize him and not have that connection right away. But when we first got here, me and my mom, we got on a plane uh, to get from Texas to Atlanta. At first we lived in a small apartment, but then we moved into a bigger apartment. And in that apartment, I lived with 15 people. They were all family members, but some of them were friends of my family. And they were all fr uh, barely arriving to the United States. So uh, we decided to all live together so that we could pay for the rent together and it wouldn't be so hard. So my mom, my dad, me and my brother shared a room, but it was very hard to uh, live with a lot of people because it was very crowded. When I started school, nobody around me knew how to speak English, but my mom found a way to teach me English even though she does not know the language herself. And because of her, I wasn't placed in any ESOL classes. I was able to continue school learning English. My dad has come a long way. Uh, when he first got here, he started off cleaning restaurants at night um, with a company and now he has his own company cleaning restaurants so he's the um, he's the employer so I'm very proud of him because of that. I live in an apartment with only my mom, my brother and my dad. I'm the person that helps my mom out with chores and with cooking and with taking care of my brother. My favorite subject to school is social studies. I just love learning about anything like history, economics, all of that. Um, and my hobbies, I really like cooking and baking, and I like reading, and I like spending time with my family. In the future, I hope to become either an activist or a civil rights attorney, because I know what it's like to feel like you don't have any rights and to feel like you don't belong and to just feel like what injustice feels like and I really want to make a change. I want to help people that feel like they don't have a voice because they do have a voice. And I want to help them because I've been around people like that and I am someone like that myself. So I want to make a change. When we came to the United States, we had to leave behind all of my family. Two years ago, my grandpa passed away. It was really hard because I never got to meet him. It just, it makes me really sad because of the way that, um, the country is right now, that I don't get the opportunity to see my family. That's another reason why I want to make a difference because I don't want anyone else to have to go through this. My parents left behind so, my, so many things, like all of their family, to come to a country where we're not welcomed. I miss my country and I miss the people that we left behind, but I know that the conditions are really terrible and that it's not safe, so I would, I would like to go to meet all the people that we left behind and to just get to see what my country is like. But I would also like the opportunity to come back because I know that it's very dangerous, which is why my parents did what they did. The American dream is what keeps me motivated to do good things, to just become someone in life because my dad was not able to see his father for 17 years. He's not even able to go to his um, grave because he gave all of that up for me. And so the American dream is my motivation to keep going for my parents.